I have a small surprise for you. What if I told you that most of the code for Alice, including this beautiful slider, was made by Alice herself? <laughs> That's true. Well, we've been chatting to Alice and we got a lot of inspirations, both for the UI as well as for the features and ready-made code that allowed us to implement some of them. Of course, for an app like this, you need some specific knowledge, some uh, programming knowledge to do this, but it's a great way to um, basically debug the code and uh, also have a code written in a language that you don't really know, or it's also a great uh, companion for you to learn programming. So, for example, if you ask Alice to create a, create a JS pop-up with hello world, she will give you the JavaScript code. So here is the alert and hello world. So that's the code in JavaScript. What else we can do is we can bring up some snippets and let's use the JavaScript console snippet that we have here. So this snippet should execute the code that I already have in my um, clipboard. So now I can just send it and it should show me how the code will be executed in the browser. So from that, we'll get just hello world in the browser and it works perfectly. So what also we can do is let's copy that once again and let's maybe forget about the uh, quotation here and let me send it. And there we have the un uncode syntax error. It's missing the... Um, it's missing something after the argument. So maybe I don't understand this error uh, and I want to explain, I want Alice to explain it to me. So let's use another snippet. This is explain explanation uh, of the error. So error explanation. And I'm going to paste this error here. So she's going to tell me what exactly this means. And we need to add closing parentheses. Uh, if I don't understand further, I can ask Alice. So can you show me correct? version and she will help me accomplish in that so that's it and from there you can go uh, for example to translate to python or any other language and she'll also uh, do this for you so the possibilities here are really endless for developers and people willing to learn how to code. You can generate some boilerplate templates or code. You can review your code and generate a documentation. You can uh, generate the code and optimize it and uh, debug it, maybe uh, debug the errors that you have. You can translate between programming languages and so much more. I hope you'll experiment with Alice uh, in this regard and I see you in the next one.